I have a super interesting electric SUV. It's about the brand new Peugeot E3008, one of the most interesting electric SUV that was released in 2024. And you will see in this video because I have so many things to tell you about this car that you will be really impressed. I was also impressed when I get a little bit deeper into details because at the surface when you see the car when you heard the technical data and information then it sounds really classy but when it go a little bit deeper into details into information then you notice that this car it's really interesting this car it's a really good option for the Tesla Model Y for example or for the other competitors so in this video will be a full review interior exterior technical data material quality everything about this Peugeot E3008 you will find out in this video so first of all guys I want to give you some technical data and information about the car and then we will start with the exterior interior as always and I try to go in every single detail the thing is that you can get it in three different options so you have two different batteries the bigger battery it's 98 kilowatt hour and the car it's able to go up to 700 kilometer VLTP estimated numbers but imagine that when a car manufacturer says that you can go 700 kilometer, you usually retract around 100 kilometer and then you still left 600 kilometer. And even if you retract more, even if you retract 200 kilometer, then you still left with 500 kilometer. So this is probably one of the most unique SUV, electric SUV, which you can get over 500 kilometer. And that's quite impressive that's quite something to keep in mind then you have the other option of the battery which we have here today is the 73 kilowatt hour battery and then on this battery you have two different type of powers so you have the front wheel drive which we have here with 200 13 horsepower and then you have the all-wheel drive dual motor which come with a power of 326 horsepower but in this video I will have kind of the say the basis entry level version is the 73 kilowatt hour battery with 213 horsepower I want to go a little bit deeper into technical data and price and then we will start with the review very important is that uh, it comes in two version GT and Allure Allure is the entry level version and the GT is the top of the range version and I have with me the GT today also the price of the car in this GT version start at 50,000 euro which is pretty good price for what this car offer and you will see in this video and the final price with all the options which I will show you a little bit later it goes to 55,500 euro the power of the car 210 horsepower 250 newton meters it's a front wheel drive system that means the electric motor it's installed on the front the range estimated range VLTP 527 kilometer for this version front wheel drive with 73 kilowatt hour battery but Peugeot says that in the city you can reach up to 656 kilometer with this car if you drive in the city in best condition and I wouldn't say only in the city I would say if you drive up to 80 kilometer per hour you can reach without any problem 500 kilometer with the car in perfect conditions it comes with an automatic transmission of course the top speed of the car 170 kilometer per hour 0 to 108.8 seconds turning circle 10.6 meters which is also quite impressive it has the best turning circle in this segment in C segment it's much better than my Tesla Model Y when I get inside this car I was super impressed definitely check out the test drive because there I talk a little bit more about the driving feeling so you can get even more information the weight of the car 2108 kilograms but in general it feels lighter ground clearance 19.8 centimeters and the fuel consumption 17.4 kilowatt hour we will see that also in the test drive so definitely check out the test drive videos the battery capacity 73 kilowatt hour it's a 400 volt architecture lithium MNC battery the charging speed in DC maximum it's 160 kilowatt in AC you have a standard 11 kilowatt but optional you can go up to 22 kilowatt when it comes to aerodynamic I have to tell you guys this is one of the most aerodynamic SUV in this segment 0.28 and usually an SUV with aerodynamic under 
under 0.30 it's really good probably that why you can reach so good range and it has such a good consumption but we will see that also on the highway the trunk space 520 liters kind of have the same trunk space as the previous version but if you fold down the seats completely it will go up to 1480 liters the front suspension independent mcpherson and the rear suspension independent multi-link we will check the suspension as well in the test drive video on this gt version it comes with those 20 inch yosemite diamond cut alloy wheels which peugeot start to roll out on 480 if i remember well they are also nice and also pretty aerodynamic the warranty for the battery it's uh, eight years or 160,000 kilometer up to 70 percent of the battery which is pretty good and also this is kind of almost standard on all the car manufacturers another thing important thing to point out is the fact that the car come now standard on all version with led headlamps but on this gt version we have the matrix led headlamps which it's able to somehow adapt depending on the other cars and traffic participants so it's really really smart system other important thing is the fact that this Peugeot 3008 electric is the first Peugeot which is built on the new platform STLA it's the name of the platform BEV by design and it's a platform special made for electric cars but with combustion engine in mind if that makes sense so this platform basically it's used for electric car for plug-in hybrids for hybrids and also for combustion engines if they will choose to to add it and this is really interesting because usually the car manufacturer factors they build platform in mind with the combustion engines and then they add electric motors but this one was built in mind with electric motors power system but also to be able to use the internal combustion engine so this is really interesting and this is the first car which will use this STLA platform and we will see also other cars from Stellantis group using this platform in the future so will be a lot of cars built on this platform another cool thing to point out is the fact that the car come with vehicle to load so you are able to charge from the battery other uh, electric equipment like um, electric bikes and wherever you can send the electricity from the car something that i didn't hear on other reviewers so i have to point out that and another cool thing it's called v1g it's a smart charging function that when you have the car at charging uh, at home for example the car will work in combination to, to pull the electricity in such a way that it will collaborate with the electricity provider and it will pull electricity when the electricity is cheaper if that makes sense this is not for the present for the future will make sense because in the future you know the electricity usually have those fluctuations when you have more production when it's sun in the day for example and then the electricity should be a little bit cheaper and then or in the night when it's not too much need and then if the car will work in, in cooperation with those energy providers then the car will know when to pull energy to be more efficient and more cheap so if that makes sense for you i hope i can i, I did explain you well i'm not sure how useful it is for the moment but in the future will be pretty useful of course the car come with a heated pump as standard and in general those are the most important technical data uh, the options i will go through as we go in the video so it comes with panoramic glass roof but in the options there are included also some other functions for example in the package with the panoramic glass roof it comes also the clear cabin and focal hi-fi sound system so yeah i'm not going to go into detail with that go on peugeot website and then configure it and then see the price and the options but i will just present you as we go in the video so guys let's go outside and let's start the review this is the key pretty simple the same key as on the previous version what you can do with the key it's lock the car as yeah always unlock the car you can see also when you lock and unlock uh, it comes with electric folding mirrors which is very useful for an SUV because when you park it in a tight spaces that's a good feature otherwise you can also open the trunk automatically from here because it comes with automatic lift gate in the trunk uh, also this is a good feature plus you can close it and this is also really really important otherwise yeah this is the key
As you probably saw in the last years, Peugeot makes such a beautiful design. I'm, I'm a big fan of what the designers from Peugeot did with the cars in the last years. I think the lines, they are super beautiful. The slooping roof, every single piece of the exterior design, it's quite unique and it looks really, really nice. It's really interesting the fact that they managed to keep that uh, Peugeot signature on, on the car and in the same time to add some uh, practical practicality and efficiency and if you look from the side on the car you will see that in comparison with the previous version the upper side here is much more lower so they improved aerodynamic now it's 0.28 which is so so important but not only that they improved aerodynamic but it also look good with this area in the back there and you will see in a second that there are a few elements that are quite unique on the car also I think it looks so nice with those rims I think the rims fit on the car just perfectly. I have really nothing to say about those beautiful rims. Uh, they are quite unique and as I said before, I saw it first time on 408, Peugeot 408 was the first to came with those rims. Not only that, they look really interesting and unique, but they are also aerodynamic and they help the air to flow a little bit better around the car. Otherwise, the front end powerful, but also it keep this feline design with the free claw. And I love the way they integrate the grill and the front end. I think it looks so, so nice from my point of view. It's such a beautiful, powerful, unique design. I don't know about you, but I definitely like the front end. I think it's powerful, I think it's modern, I think it's attractive, and from the point of view of design, yeah, not too many things to, to say. Now, I wanna go a little bit closer to every detail to talk about, to explain you a few things, uh, and also the way they managed to get to this 0 0.28 aerodynamic. Attention to details. For example, if you look at the roof, we don't have those roof rails anymore here on the side, so you're not able to add some extra um, uh, trunk up there. And in this way, they improve the aerodynamic. They take out also some uh, muddy protection from here and also here that you saw in other cars or also in the back. So there are small elements which make the difference when it comes to aerodynamic. And they kind of maximize that. Here on the windshield, you will see also the cameras and the sensors for light and raining. Uh, and also the camera from there help by reading the traffic speed limit signs, even the traffic signs. And also it works in combination with the radar, which they position it down here. This is the radar for adaptive cruise control, emergency brake, and all that safety feature. So together, the camera with this radar will help the car and autopilot. And you will see it in the test drive video. If you didn't see it, check out that video because there I test it a little bit more so you can make uh, a better idea about how it works. Around the windows, this is kind of a new trend. I don't know if it's a trend. I saw that also on, if I remember well, what was Santa Fe? I think on Hyundai Santa Fe. So also this, but it has only on the back side. But look at these guys. We don't have any more those ugly plastic rubber areas here. So they try to design it directly. So it looks much more smooth. So it's much more clear. It's like a continuous design, continuous glossy here. I really love the way they design it. I really like this down area, even though on the upper side we still have some rubber tinted windows on the side and also on the back also black i like the fact that we have black glossy here on the c pillar on the b pillar and also i love the way they did this transition here i told you there are some unique things here on the car that you don't see on other cars and one of these unique thing is this transition between this window and this window so you can see how nice they transition it together so it's like window in window Really cool, really cool stuff. I really like that. Plus, it's this design of the spoiler. I don't know if you can see from lower end down here. I don't know if you can see that. I want to show you. I really want to show you that. You can see down there, guys. They have a nice, nice place where the air will go here to help the downforce when you go at high speeds and also to improve the aerodynamic. It's so nice. Plus, it's so beautiful. Look at this design. It's really beautiful the way they designed the spoiler. Up there we have the uh, antenna, which is also very nice in the shark tail, in black, tinted window in the back. And also we have this 
Again, another extra spoiler here, which also helped the downforce and aerodynamic. And also it add a little bit of style and beauty. I don't know guys, I really like the way it looks also from the back. I think it looks so nice. I think the car is so, so attractive. Uh, also the back end is quite powerful and pretty cool. On the rear here we have tail lights, full LED lights, the turning signals, the tail lights are full LED lights and they look really cool. It's in a three dimensional way. Also on the side you can see writing Peugeot right there. Here in the middle we have Peugeot writing plus the brake light now it's moved here. Um, now a little bit lower we have the E. 3008 so you know which version it is now if you want to open the trunk you have to open it from here because the button is here and I think it's much better like that because it's much more protected from the mud and stuff like that so that's pretty cool plus down here you have the reverse camera and you have LED lights on the number plate a little bit lower here you have the fog lamp which is not LED light it's a normal halogen light plus the reverse light are also normal halogen light you can hear now some people complain about the fact that they are positioned a little bit lower but how many times you reverse and when you reverse anyway you look in reverse and people can see you the most important and you can see the fog lamps are on the both side the reverse light on the both side but the most important are the turning signals the tail lights and the brake lights from my point of view so overall powerful look powerful design and yeah I kind of like it down here some gray matte glossy here on the bumper six sensors on the rear for parking and for safety features and you can see down here i don't know you can see that under the car it's also designed in such a way that the air will float really easy so to improve the aerodynamics so you can see even the down under the car it's it's made special for that now here you can see you have those protection around the wheels the edges of the wheels and the edges of the car uh, in black piano black i know we'll get scratch but it look good those are the uh, tires and this is the rims 20 inch rims on the rear ventilated brake this pretty big brake this is also on the rear uh, because the car is quite heavy they want to be sure you you will brake and down here you have some black again glossy on the down skirt which look pretty nice and then you can see in the front the same story with a black protection around uh, the wheels and also in the front ventilated brake this even bigger brake this on the front and yeah this is it guys ah and in case you want to know it's uh, 235 55 air uh, 90 the tires and those are uh, Michelin cross uh, climate 2 SUV so just in case uh, you, you want to know uh, what kind of tires are on the both sides we have this Peugeot logo uh, the new Peugeot logo which look great here is the mirrors we we'll also have some nice design and also pretty aerodynamic mirrors down here you have the camera for 360 degrees camera which I will show you from inside and here is the turning signal in this area plus you have a pretty big uh, glass mirror and here in the corner you have the blind spot view monitoring those are the handles pretty simple I wish in the future and somehow to somehow design it inside the door so to improve the aerodynamic but otherwise this is the way it sounds the quality is quite good so nothing to to say about that as well before i go in the front i want to show you the charging port here you can charge the car in ac 11 kilowatt this is standard but you can get it optional 22 kilowatt and down here you have the dc up to 160 kilowatt uh, which is pretty good from my point of view it's more than enough now going in the front again to see this front end quite powerful feline look with free clouds pretty cool turning signals I love the grill if I love something I think this is my favorite grill on the market these days and I like the Peugeot logo in the middle front camera is here 3008 really like the way they, they integrate this grill here down here you have also another grill and I don't know if you see inside there from the camera but if you look inside you see those plastic clappers that are open they will close as well when the battery need to be warm in the winter so that's really smart it has active cooling as well then you have the turning signals also they replace the daytime running light those three clouds and there you can see the matrix the magic happen with the lights 
uh, and you can see the upper side and the lower side that will be used also for the high beam so pretty cool stuff now six sensors on the front here we don't have any air intakes or stuff like that it's just this plastic element uh, and also they design it more that the air will float around the front end and more about this uh, aerodynamic we will talk in the uh, test drive videos in general this is the exterior now i want to show you also the engine bay and you open it two times from here just like that and in general it should open automatically here's the hazard light button which i want to stop plus the lights uh, i want to turn them off because we don't need it anymore and you can see now a little bit better the way it looks with the daytime running lights on so this is the way it looks now open it up it's manual guys that's something to keep in mind but i like the fact that it's pretty light so it's not so heavy here is the electronic parts and also the motor the the thing is that because the car is built on this kind of boat electric platform and combustion engine platform we don't have any space here in the front so they didn't design it in such a way that you will have a space but here on the left side you have the liquid for the wipers and here's the 12 volt battery the fuse box and yeah the high voltage elements are under there under this plastic cap here is the button as i told you before just press it and it will open up as i said before 520 liters the same as on the previous version pretty huge entrance here in the trunk i already take out the protection so you can see better the trunk the protection is down there also up here you have the button to close it and also here you have the triangle so that's something to, to keep in mind otherwise huge huge entrance nothing to say about the entrance even though i don't know how good they managed to design the the aerodynamic and the kind of a coupe look design and in the same time to have such a big entrance i think it's crazy crazy practical and also I love the fact that you have a completely flat floor I really like the way the the trunk and the area here in the trunk is designed so uh, overall I think it's pretty good you have some storage space here on the left side you have a 12 volt port here also on the right side we have some LED lights hook here also some storage space with a hook and also you have hooks in every corner also under this floor let me show you guys you still have plenty of storage space plus i want to show you something if you go a little bit higher those plastic areas here will keep your protection uh, staying a little bit higher so you can use your boat hands down there plus you have here some extra five centimeters and then down there you have a huge space to put different items so pretty cool and also this is this net is the protector net which you can put it down here which is incredible and if i'm not wrong you can take even that trunk protection and put it down here wow this is pretty cool it's practical i like it anyway you can also take this and put it even lower just like that and then you win around maybe five centimeters here so pretty cool and i like the fact that you can do that with only one hand and this is this is crazy practical i like the fact that you can fold down the seats like you can fold it uh, 40 20 40 so you don't fold it like in other cars uh, 60 40 so you can pull this rope here like that and push it forward and then you can carry long items like skis or whatever you want to carry and this is crazy practical or of course you can go here press this button fold it down just like that and also here on the left side the same story press the button fold it down super fast super easy and once you do that you will see that you will have a completely flat floor practical and yeah and pretty big so you can carry yeah even big items like mobile parts or yeah wherever things uh, without any problem around here i can show you also the space from the side so if you want to open uh, the door you can see the entrance is not 90 degrees but it's pretty big entrance in the car around here so the space is quite good and this is uh, the way it looks in the back and I told you the entrance is relatively big even the quality around here it's pretty good and even this transition I really like that down here on the legs room still have plenty of space and as a proper electric car you have a flat floor there 
So that's really, really important. Also, another thing to point out is that those seats are fixed here, so you cannot uh, adjust this area. But in general, I think it's pretty practical. This is the window from one piece because you have another piece right here and you can also see it from inside. And let me show you something. If you, ah, but the engine, it's stopped. Why? Actually the system, it's stopped. Let me start the system for a while. I think I stopped it before. And with this occasion, let's adjust the seat in my driving position. Now it's good. And let's go in the back. I want to show you something. For example, in the front here, you have double glass. So you have very good sound insulation. I noticed that when I drive the car, but I didn't check on the rear. So I'm really curious to see if the rear have also double glass and I can do it from there. I have to do it also from here. Ah, come on, man. <laughs> I have to use this one because they are locked and no double glass, no remote glass. Wow, I'm impressed. But I'm impressed on how good the sound insulation was when I drive the car. It's really good. Anyway, let me go forward. When it comes to door and design, I think it's pretty fine. The design is pretty good. It's a good mix between good quality and uh, some plastic parts around here. Here you have leather, super soft and nice. Here you have this textile, nice material. Also, Peugeot use on this car a lot of uh, sustainable materials and some recycled materials for the plastic for different areas. So yeah, there are so many things to say about this car. And also let's keep in mind that many parts of this car are built and also the car it's built in France. And this is saying uh, a lot about uh, this car. Also you have leather in this area, here is the button. Uh, here is the handle, here is a small speaker which look really cool, a big speaker and some storage space where you can add different uh, items. This is the entrance in the car which is pretty big as you saw before and those are the Napa leather seats which are incredible and uh, to tell you something special about the seats they are AGR approved and AGR it's from Germany a company uh, with uh, doctors for and uh, orthopeds and they are approved for the back pain so they are tested and I told you in my videos guys Peugeot make one of the best seats out there uh, of course, there are many manufacturers, they make good seats, but Peugeot, it's one of them. And uh, those are the leather seats. When you look at the stitches, when you look at the quality, they are perforated. They are incredible. In terms of quality, I have nothing to say about the seats. I really love the seats from Peugeot. You have two ease of fix. You can install two child seats here. You have this armrest here with two cup holders and some storage space for your tablet or phone, wherever you want to put there. Behind the front seats, you have some uh, leather here, even though behind this leather, it's some plastic, but I like the fact that you have this leather, you have some storage space down there. Going inside in the middle, you have two vents, plus you have the heated seats, free position on the rear. And you have also down there, I don't know if you can see it. I want to put my camera down there. I hope you can see it, guys. You have like two USB-C and a 12 volt port right there. Super useful, super useful stuff. Let me close the door. I'm 173 centimeters. So this is the space over my head. I have like five fingers over my head and the comfort is pretty good. Also up here you have a handle. You have this LED light, the roof quality, it's pretty good. So it's one of, probably one of the, the best on the higher end quality when it comes to roof. This is the panoramic glass roof, which is optional. So you have to pay extra for it, but it's great that you can open it up as well and it make the car interior much more brighter. This is the space on the legs. So I adjust, I already adjust the seat in my driving position before I go inside, I show you that. And this is the space, I mean, it's pretty good. I can stretch a little bit the, the legs under the front seat. And in general, I have pretty good space around here. Now, going in the middle, guys, it's very easy because you don't have that flat floor. So you, you have that flat floor, you don't have that bump uh, right here, but you cannot stay with your legs together because it's a little bit less space for your foot there. But you have plenty of space on your knees. This is really, really important. Plus on the headroom, let me show you, I have like five, four fingers and, and half. Stretch my hand, complete stretch my hand 
complete so three people can stay here without any problem. I like the fact that down here you have a pretty soft material and also on the back even though you have that armrest it's not that hard. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. I like it, I really like it. On the dashboard they, they really make some design from the previous version and it looks much better, man. It looks so futuristic, always. I mean, Peugeot was probably the first car manufacturer which came with such an interesting design and lines and I think it looks wonderful. I really love uh, the way they design it. I think it's from the future and every person which came in the car says like, Man, it looks from the future. I, uh, yeah, it's really, really interesting. Uh, also, I love this screen, floating screen, curved floating screen, which we will talk in a second. But yeah, in general, they still keep the steering wheel design in place and so on for the people that complain. And we will talk about that in a second. But uh, in general, I think it looks really, really fine. Here we have one big window from one piece. This is wonderful because you have such a good visibility in the mirrors. Focal sound system, optional, of course. It comes integrated into an option package. Here we have some beautiful ambient light, which came from here, from down here. But in the nighttime, it looks so beautiful. And I have a separate video on my channel with the 3008 in the nighttime. So definitely check out to see how it looks in the night time then you have soft material everywhere on the upper side so this trim is pretty good some uh, textile material around here leather here leather here and it's pretty soft and nice uh, I like that because it's very comfy when you're driving the handles here you have the button to lock electric adjustable mirrors open the windows and here lock the windows and down here you have some storage space and inside this storage space which is pretty good you have this kind of carpet design which is not a plastic i like that good quality here we have a speaker peugeot writing on this aluminium plate and we have aluminium pedals which is pretty cool you have some storage space up here and a little bit higher you can open the trunk here is this button for heated windshield so all the windshield it's heated and it's not like in other cars where you hit only the down part of the wipers no this one it's completely heated and i don't know if you see if you look carefully inside the glass there are some little lines i think you can see it now I think the camera is focused now and you can see that everything is heated so you just press the button in two minutes it's defrosted so this is super cool then again very beautiful integrated ambient light around here the textile material the dash the round curved shape not only on the screens which are curved and nice but also the dashboard in general it's curved you see it's curved until there until the toggle uh, controllers this is the entrance this is the way it looks when you come in it looks so cool so futuristic and those are the napa leather seats so beautiful seats man I, I'm, I'm a big fan of the seats from peugeot uh, not only that they look good they have also this peugeot logo here writing but if you look closely they are perforated and they look really good they work a lot on them and let me tell you something about those seats they are ventilated they are heated and they use pneumatic system uh, for those side support they, so they hold you plus they have massage function they are they are crazy crazy good you can see agr comfort uh, writing here they are electric you can save two position you can also turn on the massage function from here or you can go to settings of the massage the, the side support the lumbar position and everything you can adjust from here they are really really cool seats and also you can adjust the front part a little bit more but manually just like that here in this area you have soft material so everywhere in this area it's leather soft you have this textile material and otherwise it's a little bit of plastic on the side now going inside the car Visibility around the windows, very good in the mirrors, very good visibility. Even in the mirror up here, you have perfect visibility in the back. Not perfect, but pretty good visibility in the back. Also, I like the tiny edges of the mirror. Good visibility around the windows and yeah, you can see for yourself. And then those are the rear seats. Here we have this armrest in leather. You can open it up, you can take this out, but you have so, so much space down there with an LED light. So huge space you can see the phone there so you can make an idea electronic handbrake right here the only thing that i notice on the car and i wish to be different is the fact that the car 
didn't come with auto hold function but I have I have some tip for you how you can use auto hold on the car uh, to work even if you don't have it but I will give you in the test drive video so definitely check out the test drive video here we have the wheel for the volume here we have the hazard light button which is perfectly positioned i love the way they position and from here we can change different driving modes so the car come uh, with a few driving modes which i want to uh, show you yeah, let me start the system and let me show you it's ready to drive so uh, once you start it you will see that you have the echo mode you have echo you have uh, normal and sport mode come on let me start the engine or oh, actually the system sorry and you have echo normal and sport mode and if you go on the right side you have even and i think this is the sand mode this is mud and this is snow mode so you have even those driving modes extra here on the side plus you have the downhill control here on on the middle so that's pretty cool you can also activate those from here and I like the fact that they, this is a physical button that means when you're driving you don't have to look you just feel with your hands and that's really important for the ergonomy and uh, the safety of the car two cup holders here a space for your phone around here which is cool plus if you press this button look at this you open this area you have two USB-C and a 12 volt board and huge space here man it's so cool not only the design is interesting but also practicality it's cool here in the front you have a wireless charging for your phone and i don't know if you see it but it's also illuminated with ambient light plus you have some buttons here uh, maximum ac here you can turn off the ac pretty fast defrosting uh, recirculation of the air uh, also this button is for the heating windows and a little bit higher you have this toggle screen shortcut screen for the multimedia and it's so well positioned i like the fact that this toggle is tilted to the driver so i have my seats a little bit backward now but usually you can scroll you can go very easy while you're driving you can you can go in every single settings and options extremely fast extremely easy and that for me it's a big plus for the car plus the vents are so nice positioned here also the quality is quite good you have the start engine system here start system button here then you have also this shift by wire transmission position it right here up which is pretty good i mean most of the car these days have it on the stock but you have it also here a little bit forward now the steering wheel you can adjust it up down forward backward probably you know that from down here up down forward backward super simple and i know you, you can you can just leave it in normal position you can close it and you can see that when you're driving you can see over the steering wheel which it's also allow you to have a good visibility even though many people complain about steering wheel because you can see through it but you not stay here otherwise you can see from here the road you will stay here and then you see perfectly you see even better the car didn't come with a head-up display because it didn't need it you have this screen which is positioned a little bit higher so this curved screen it's positioned a little bit higher so that take out the need of having a head-up display and also give you a, such a good visibility while you're driving because you have your eyes on the road and you have to look only a little bit down you know so that makes sense plus it's curved that means this screen is tilted to the driver so you have so beautiful view from the driver point of view i love the steering wheel the gt steering wheel you can see the gt writing here the grip the size it's small it's easy it's light you can control the car so easy and you have such a nice grip plus this uh, perforated leather it's it's awesome then you have new stalks from the previous version and they look so cool you have also those pedals behind the steering wheel here those pedals are for regenerative brake and you have three levels of regenerative brake and you can see right there right to the p right here so you have three levels i will explain you in the test drive plus we have these uh, controllers buttons here and even though they look like they are touch screens they are not touch buttons they are just physical buttons so 
you can hear when you touch them and uh, they are easy to use they are not like in other cards where you press one two time or you press it by mistake you cannot press it by mistake you really have to want to press it when you press it so if that makes sense otherwise the same controller the same button behind here if you want to change different views on the digital cockpit the color the resolution of the screens it's it's perfect it looks awesome it's much more customizable than before you, you can see so many informations here from how much battery you have and how much range you have and the different driving modes and even the navigation even the driving modes and so on it's it's really really complex and you can also change the views if you don't like those views you can see it like that you can see the graphic with what happened with the energy uh, with the power you can also change it to see in a simple way or you can have the media and also navigation on the right or you can have the full map on the screen which is super cool a little bit higher we will go to multimedia but we will go in the end then a little bit higher you saw the mirror up here i like the fact that you have this uh, glass support which is so so useful and then we have those led lights controllers for the glass uh, info and sos button and from here you can also turn close complete the curtain for the uh, panoramic glass room but you can also open it up so let me show you you can open it up this glass so you have also this insect protection and you can open it up like that so yeah pretty cool in the summer in a hot day like today it's awesome and you can also close that curtain if you want to and that will look super nice so let me no let me put it back okay now it's good and i like the fact that there are two buttons not only one like in other cars so you can uh, use it easy here we have a vanity mirror with two led lights pretty fancy it looks quite cool expensive here's the microphone and here is the handle and now i want to show you this dashboard and the ambient light i think you can see this green ambient light which illuminate that back end it looks so cool up here you have soft material here you have textile material here you have your big glow box the glow box is pretty pretty big so you can see inside there and here the toggle you have all the shortcuts you can also customize those toggles uh, if you press it you can switch it and move it around or you can choose what you like to have here so you have the home you have the mirror screen that means you can connect your uh, android auto apple carplay wireless and i will do a separate video to show you how to do that so definitely check out on the channel to see that then you have the climatic shortcut so it gets you to the climatic system so from here you can choose where the air to go and you can choose manually or you can choose uh, automatically you can control all the climatic system from here you have the seats and steering wheel and here we have like the heated seat and also ventilated seat. So from here you activate the ventilated uh, ventilation on your seats, on your passenger seat on, and on your seat. Also you have the air quality, something that the car come with. It's a super smart system, which uh, it's able to read the quality of the air that comes from outside inside the car. And if the car feel like it's not clean, it will switch to the interior recirculation of the air plus this gt version come with some extra air filtration and it can filtrate like in tesla model y for example or like in tesla that gases from outside and also small particles like 2.5 which is incredible being in a crowded city having this car with this amazing filtration uh, then you can you will not breed that uh, pollution so your health will be kind of protected you have uh, preconditioning so you can precondition here the climatic system you have seats and climatic and you can activate it really fast from here you have auto climatic you have seats option from here you activate the seats uh, option and on the seats option you have also the massage on the seats and from here you can also switch between different types of massage you and the passenger and the uh, bolster they call it uh, i told you uh, before that it's kind of pneumatic areas the side support is pneumatic and you can adjust it how you want it so 
the car will hold you really really tight and nice then we have the energy this is super important while you're driving because you can see what happened with energy uh, when the car recuperate when the car use energy it's a nice graphic you have the history with the consumption here and information about consumption the usage of the battery so for example uh, what did car use the energy for so for the electric motor for the climatic 28 percent and for others plus you can see how much it was charged and how much it was used charging here you can schedule your charging of course you probably know that and if we go forward you have the ADAS so you have all the safety features you can put it and save it as favorite or you can go to functions here and here on the functions you have all those safety features like rear cross traffic alert lane keeping assist the drive assist 2.0 this is the new one we will test it on the uh, on the test in the test drive video so it gives you also some infos here and it shows you some images how those things work which is so useful and you have automatically braking system and traction control and exit speed warning this is also you can activate from here speed limit change sound and so on so that those are really really uh, cool safety features plus you have this tutorial then if you go forward you have the settings which it gets you to the most important settings of the car and here we have the username you can create a username and save all your settings you can customize different settings here for example from colors the display customization so you can customize the cockpit from here you can choose on every page what you would like to see and you can see you can switch uh, between those which is also very cool and useful and you can change also the customize this multimedia and you can switch and add extra page delete page and choose how you like to customize the screen the home page screen then you have interior colors and i'm a little bit sad because you don't have too many colors the ambient light looks so beautiful to be honest it looks so so nice and unique and i'm really a little bit sad because you don't have too many colors to choose from i wish to be more but you have this kind of a white you have blue you have green you have blue strong blue light blue light green a little bit green strong and this is kind of a skin color but i wish to have a little bit more uh, colors to play with and exterior animation you probably see it if not check out on the nighttime video and interior animation it has a nice animation when you go inside the car connectivity wi-fi and then you have the system here you have the language the time and date kilometer miles celsius fahrenheit and all that settings you can switch it from here interior lightning brightness audio settings here you find all the settings of the audio radio and volume and the vehicle vehicle lights vehicle access and so on vehicle lights you have the adaptive lights and if you go to adaptive lights you can see here the information about uh, this function automatically adjust the headlights based on driving conditions so you can see how it works and how it switch the lights i told you it comes with matrix led headlamps which it's able to somehow uh, adapt itself depending on the road and then you have automatic main bin which it's switching when a car approach from other lane it can switch somehow the left area and then it will let on only the the right this function automatically switch between those so yeah very smart system i saw it last night and it was uh, quite quite good voice assist updates and those are all the settings and then you have the application drawer when you where you find all the application the most important application uh, from others you saw it before energy help what is new here is the mirror screen which you can connect your your um, phone and settings which we were before and then of course uh, climatic and media so those are all in general the only thing that i didn't show you is the navigation which i want to show you now and also the home page this is the home page and you can add you can see this is the second page and this is the third page and you can customize the pages the way you want it you can add watches and whatever you can move it around and do it however you want so those pages are important because you find all the important settings around here and let's talk a little bit about navigation because i find it the most important from all the navigation i find it much more much more better than before and not only that it's better as a navigation but it's also much more responsive 
check this out. It's super responsive. This is super important and I love it. It's much, much better. Let me use this, uh, this hand and you can see better. You can see how responsive it is. It's, it's crazy responsive. And once you set a destination, for example, if you set a destination here, you can see how fast it's loading. It's crazy. It has a better, um, better hardware, better uh, software. Let me show you something. If you end up this route, for example, and if you go here into the menu, you will can find all the charging stations around you, which is so useful and you will see how fast it's loading. You can even see more if you want to see more. Uh, and so on and once you see it here on the map closest to you you will see also how farther away it is you just press on one it gives you the information how much time you do until there and also with how much percentage you will arrive there so how cool is that if you press root you will see it's just like instantaneous it's loading so fast and yeah i find it much much better much more useful so great job with the navigation it's pretty responsive so i have nothing to nothing to complain about navigation plus once you start the navigation it will show you the routes and the direction so clear so you'll understand very very easy everything plus you will see the navigation right here on the uh, digital cockpit so in general i think i cover almost everything guys i don't know if i if i miss something if i miss something just write me in the comments i will be really happy to answer you so if you have any other question just write me down in the comments otherwise from my point of view i think it's a great option for an electric suv so if you are on the market for an electric car and even if you are not on the market for an electric car i still think this is a great options to consider and to go test the car see the car and also get a little bit more info about it because i think from my point of view might be a great option i was surprised on so many factors that this car come with which is impressive anyway check out the test drive video as well to see the consumption to see how it's uh, handling on the road because it's really interesting the video probably it's already on the channel if it's not will come soon so stay close to see that thank you very much to all of you that are watching my videos i really appreciate that don't forget to like share subscribe that will mean a lot for me it will help me a lot also i wait your feedbacks in the comment i'm really curious if it's something to add to this video Plus, today is for the first time when I use a different camera to do those reviews. So I really, really wait your feedbacks. Tell me what you think about the image quality. And if you have some uh, criticism or something to add on, let me know. But from my point of view, I think it's much more easier and uh, it's much more detailed with this camera and the way I feel. But anyway, thank you for watching as always. Stay safe and I see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.